Hi, I am Nadine Hoy, and I am here today to talk about the Sheriff's police dogs. They had a beautiful police dog brought in here uh, five years ago, six years ago. He was only allowed to work for a year. Uh, he went out on active shootings with the guys all in their body armor. Chief didn't have one. When the Sheriff's Department wouldn't come through with it, we had a fundraiser at the Kino Grill right here. And half the town showed up. Tommy did a demo with the dog. Everybody loved it and everybody threw in all the money to buy the vest again. So the money was sent in and the vest was still not ordered. They wouldn't do it, even though we had paid for it again. So I called the office and told them I wanted that dog with a vest and I would pay for it on my credit card. When could I come down and get it ordered? Uh, it was ordered that night, not on my card. <laughs> and then he was grounded. No, no, no excuses, he was grounded. We had people running around up here shooting everybody in the woods and Chief would have been perfect for that. They wouldn't let him go. He just shut him down. And we don't get it. Because that dog was a, such a huge asset to this county. And he spent three years sitting up there in, the, in a cage. Uncertified, they wouldn't allow him to be certified. But his handler, Thomas Hoy, Deputy Hoy, kept him in training out here non-stop. Everything was kept up on cue, and then the dog, the sheriff finally decided that he was going to sell the dog to the highest bidder and move Deputy Hoy into the jail, which did not happen. So Deputy Hoy ended up fired because he wouldn't go to the jail and give up the dog. He ended up buying the dog to save his life because he is a one-man dog. No, no deputy could come in here and try and take the dog. It would have been terrible. Tom is his handler, the only handler. People donated that money for a dog that was never used. Now they're going to try to do it again. And it got very, very ugly and petty. So when Tommy bought the dog, the sheriff owed him $850 for some work he'd done. So Tommy just said, I will take the dog and we'll call our bill square. So that's how he got the dog. When Tommy left, the, sh the sheriff would not give him the vest. He, handed, he wanted Tommy to hand over everything that belonged to the dog, which Tommy did. So I thought that this dog needed the vest now. He's going back to work for another agency soon, Tule Lake, California. And that's good. He'll be with Tommy all the time. And I wrote a letter to the sheriff requesting return of the vest, seeing as though Kino paid for it. It really is ours. Um, could we please have it back for his future job? And the sheriff wrote a very nice letter back saying, nope. It's, we're getting a new dog, and this is going to that dog. Well, those vests are made for the dog that works with them. It was made for Chief. Well, the people in Keno are up in arms, and they're ready to cause a riot, and everybody wants to march down there, especially when they know the dog's gone back to work. They're wanting to cause a riot because the people in this town paid for that vest. But this is how it works, and this has been a long, ugly fight. Yeah, not good, not good. For the people who paid for it, and the people who represent us, this is so wrong. We're really worried, and I don't know what we can do, but the people of Klamath County put up $21,000 to buy the first dog, Chief, and now they're being asked to do it again for another dog. Now, all that money on Chief was never used. It was never used. It was a shame that he was just, he, had to, he went out on one case, as far as I know, but he did stop a lot of problems by his presence. So he was used that way. Um, and I don't know what they'll do with the new dog, and now to want more money to pay for another one does not make a lot of sense to me. But we're going to see that she's protected. If we have to buy a new one, we will. <laughs>